Now this is how to go wipe. What's up guys, my name is Cole and welcome back to the easiest way to use the go wipe strategy at Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9. So we're going to go ahead and start off this video by actually going over what go wipe means. So basically what go wipe means is you're going to have some golems, some pekkas, wizards, wall breakers, and that's about it. And the go wipe pretty much spells out itself. But uh, for Town Hall 8 and Town Hall 9, if you look right here, my army camps are currently maxed out at 205. I can go to 220, but I felt this was an easy medium between Town 8 and Town 9. Uh, so you can actually go ahead and if you are Town 8, subtract a few wizards and you'll pretty much come to the right trooper composition. So what we have here is two golems. I definitely recommend two golems. You don't need three. Three Pekkas is essential. Make sure you bring at least seven wall breakers uh, minimum. Unless you are bringing a jump spell, then you can change it up. But this is pretty much the standard strategy that I use, and it works out very well. So now that you've seen our army composition, let's go over to our spell factory and check it out. So let's look closer and look what we have. So we have cooked up three level four rage spells. Obviously, level doesn't matter, but basically what you want is three rage spells, one jump spell. Now, if you are at Town Hall 8, I highly recommend recommend doing three rage spells only because obviously your capacity is three and it's really effective that you actually have three rage spells at least especially with lower level troops uh, because I feel that is the only way to really get it done uh, so obviously you can either trade that jump spell with another rage or you can replace it with a lightning for something in the clan castle like a witch okay the battle has begun it's time to drop the golems first these mighty beasts take out giant bombs Directly followed up by the wizards from behind the wizards from the east now the wizards make their move Destroying the outside buildings in order to clear a path for the Pekka as you can see the attack is going perfect The wizards make their way and destroy all the buildings now once these buildings are gone It is time for the mighty wall breakers Make sure to drop the rage spells in order for the wall breakers to break through towards the center faster Followed up by another raid spell on the left. The Wallbreaker Horde moves in closer to the town hall, building a perfect path for the mighty golems, as you can see. Now it is time for the jump spell, dropped directly over the wizard tower. This base stands no chance, as the mighty peckers come in from the top. Three in total, ready for mass destruction. Make sure that jump spell is perfectly leading towards the town hall, otherwise this attack could be fail. After the P.E.K.K.A. come the mighty heroes, but we forgot about them till later. The mighty golems, as well as the wizard from the east, move in towards the center of the town hall, followed by the P.E.K.K.A.s after that perfectly priced jump spell. The rage spell comes down from the skies, raining above, helping these mighty P.E.K.K.A. to destroy the town hall. It is only a matter of time before it shall fall. He summons the rage spell, moving in, destroying everything in its path. The P.E.K.K.A. slash away at the mighty town hall. Almost two-star victory so far, 48% achieved. What a mighty battle, two stars for Coulson already. The mighty P.E.K.K.A. will not stop at two stars as they ascend into the battle even further. A perfect victory they desire, as many other Go Wipers attend to achieve. Now, since we've perfectly attacked this base, we still have many of our Pekkas, as well as mighty golems and heroes, king and queen and all. They move through the base quickly but silently, making sure to not forget any of these structures. The miniature golems now break apart and help in stopping these big giant cannons from destroying the Pekka. The Pekka slash away at the walls, like melted ice cream. Here they go, one last final cannon before victory is achieved. A little puny spring trap thinks it can stop on Mighty Pekka, but Lil doesn't know that that is ineffective. Nothing is left to stop the Go Wipe from a perfect victory. The king is getting pissed as he moves at the speed of light, destined for victory, and the builder's hut on the top left corner. The queen assists him, and a perfect 100% victory is achieved. Now this 
is how to go wide.